Welcome to Electrum Online. Now let's take a look at this problem and do it again, but in this case we want to do it quickly because you only really get three minutes on the test and after you read the problem there's only two and a half minutes left. So when we did it before on the previous video we took over 11 minutes. Of course I know I do a lot of talking, but nevertheless can we do a problem like this in less than three minutes? Well let's try. Let's read it first. And it says, a horizontal force F is applied at the center of mass of a cylindrical object of mass M and radius R, perpendicular to its axis as shown in the figure. The coefficient of friction between the object and the ground is mu. The center of mass of the object has an acceleration A, the acceleration due to gravity is G, and given that the object rolls without slipping, which of the following statement or statements are correct? And it could be any one of the four, but we need to solve this now in about two and a half minutes. So let's go through this quickly and see how we can do that. So for A it says for the same F, same force applied, the value of A does not depend on whether the cylinder is solid or hollow. But remember that the acceleration will give it, the acceleration will be both translational and rotational. So the force will have to do two things, make it rotate and make it, make it accelerate forward. And when the, we have the rotation acceleration, that does depend on the moment of inertia, and that's different for a solid or a hollow cylinder. So since the moment of inertia is different, the rotational, the energy required or the work required to do the rotational acceleration depends on the moment of inertia. So we know that it does depend on it, and so we know that that one is false. For the second one, hmm, realizing that we have the weight mg, and then with the friction force, force friction is going to be equal to mg mu. And we know that for rotation, for object that rotate, that the torque is equal to I times alpha, the angle of acceleration. And the torque is going to be the frictional force, mg mu, times the radius over which it acts. And the moment of inertia of a solid cylinder is one half mass times the radius squared, and alpha is going to be V over, uh, not V, but A over R. So, right away we can see that the M's cancel, this R cancels with this R, this R cancels with this R, we move the two across, we can see that 2G mu equals A, and that's exactly what we have for answer B, so we know answer B is correct. Answer C, the magnitude of the frictional force on the object due to the ground is always mu mg, well, we know that cannot be true because the friction force is always going to be between zero and the maximum friction force. So when we see the word always, we realize that it's not the case. It's only at its maximum value. So we, can know, we know that that one is false. And for the final one, we have a thin-walled hollow cylinder and they claim the acceleration will be half of 2m. So if you write this as a equals one half of f over m, so that would be half the value that it normally is, because normally A equals F over M. With a thin wall hollow cylinder, we know that the moment of inertia is equal to MR squared, and that means that the rotational kinetic energy must equal the translational kinetic energy, which means that half the work goes into making it rotate, the other half makes it in, uh, is used to making it translate, to move forward, and because of that, we know that for a thin-walled hollow cylinder, since half the work goes into rotating it, half the work goes into moving it forward, you will only get half the acceleration if all you did was making it move forward. So since half the energy is used to make it rotate, you know the acceleration is going to be half the normal acceleration, and so that one is correct. So without working out too many things, you can quickly go through it and figure out which of the four answers are actually correct. So, how did we do? How long did we take? Uh, four minutes, a little over. Yeah, but I did some explanation, so that's kind of in the ballpark of where sh you should be and how you need to solve this problem quickly without going through too much of the theory and working out the equation because you simply don't have the time to do it that way. So, it's a challenge to get this one done in less than three minutes. Better than 11. <laughs> Better than 11 minutes.